everybody, and welcome to How to Make Your Wife Happy and Healthy. In today's episode, we're going to have a wonderful beef dish that creates a great sauce that goes well over steamed rice. What dish is it, you wonder? It's a very common dish that you might see in a restaurant, but you don't usually see in home cooking. Well, come on, let's get cooking. Today's dish is a common Chinese-American restaurant staple, beef broccoli which you don't find in China itself. But we have a recipe that tastes very good that my family loves. So let's get to the ingredients. Here are the ingredients. Two pounds of beef sliced for stir fry. We're gonna slice this one up. Two tablespoons of cooking oil. Two tablespoons of soy sauce. Two tablespoons of vinegar. Three tablespoons of red wine. Two cloves of garlic. Two heads of broccoli. You can use the frozen stuff, but it won't taste as good. Three cups of beef broth. Three tablespoons of oyster sauce. The first thing I'm going to do is cut up the beef so I can marinate it. This beef was previously frozen. We bought it cheap, froze it, and it's still a little bit frozen, which makes it easier to cut. So we're going to cut it into strips. It's actually easy to cut, believe it or not. I have a tougher time cutting beef that is not frozen. So we're going to cut it into Strips that, just like you would see if you're eating a stir-fry dish at a Chinese restaurant. Look at those clean strips. We're gonna, these are a little too long, so I'm going to cut them in half after that. Or maybe thirds. You guess thirds. But you can see it cuts right through it easily. Partly, too, I have a really good sharp knife to make these kind of cuts. But being a little bit frozen, if you haven't heard the secret, if your meat's a little bit frozen, whether it's beef, chicken, turkey, whatever, a little bit frozen makes it easier to cut. Now, I also agree that beef that's fresh tastes better. So, if you'd rather have your beef fresh, it'll probably taste better than this one will. But I am sacrificing freshness for cost. So, we bought a whole bunch of beef that was on sale, we froze the beef that we weren't going to use that day, and now it gets used later. All right, so that's a little bit, so now we're gonna cut, I'm gonna cut the third so you can see how long I want my strips. I'll cut a few of the thirds. And that's good size, that's about Two and a half inches, two, two and a half inches. There we go. Now I continue cutting. Set this one aside, continue my cutting. One other note I'm actually cutting two to three slices at a time. These are actually two or three of them. Let me pull this apart and show you. Looks like, yeah. So you can see there's actually three of them in there. So it also saves time in cutting if you do it this way. We'll pull them apart when they get less frozen and in the marinade. Okay, now that we have successfully separated all the beef parts, you can see the sides of them about. Now we're going to put in the marinade. Two tablespoons soy sauce, two tablespoons vinegar, three tablespoons of wine. Two tablespoons soy sauce. Two tablespoons of vinegar. Three tablespoons of red wine. I mix it together. Stir it up. Set it aside. We're going to set it aside and start working on cu cutting up the broccoli. 
those weren't full tablespoons. <laughs> and you're stirring beef with a knife? <laughs> Stir it up. Now set it aside, and we're gonna cut up the broccoli. Okay, we're gonna cut up the broccoli first and wash it after. What kind of logic is that? What? Cut it then wash it? Yeah, it's common. Didn't know. Especially for salad. I like my broccoli florets to be a little small. So you can cut them down the middle and make them a little smaller. Just for me. Now you want to wash the broccoli. Today we're going to use the high heat middle burner to stir fry the dish. We want a high heat because we're going to be stir frying today. Lots of power in that. We're going to add our tablespoon of oil and cook the broccoli. We want the broccoli to get nice and green. They're going to take it out and then cook the beef. Heat up the pan, heat up the oil. Let it get nice and hot before adding the broccoli. The oil doesn't run smooth, so it's not ready yet. Waiting for the oil to run smooth. That means the oil's hot enough. In the meantime, don't forget to stir up your beef so the marinade can get through more pieces of the beef. Uh, I will... <coughs> The oil is flowing smoothly across the pan. Time to add the broccoli. As you cook the broccoli, it's going to turn more green than it already is. We're looking for that really nice dark green color. They're going to take it off and add the beef. Okay, it's cooking for about three to four minutes. Looks good. We're gonna take it off. Okay, before we add the beef, we're gonna add some more oil. They're gonna put the grated garlic right inside. You want the garlic to the oil and get a little brown. Then put the beef and marinade right over it. Okay, make sure you spread the beef around and we're going to let it sit and try and get really hot and brown each side. We're going to cook it so all the liquid is boiled away. We're going to turn it over from time to time to make sure all the sides get brown.
Yeah, I could. If there's too much liquid with the beef and it's taking too long to boil it off, you can dump some out. That's like I'm about to do. So now the beef's edge of the journey, you can see I've drained off a lot of the liquid so it won't take as long to boil it off. Now the water has been all boiled away from the beef, we want to make sure to stir fry it a little longer. We want to get the nice sear on the beef. It's going to give us some flavoring with the sear. A little bit of sear, not too much. Beef is at a nice doneness, some is seared, some is not. You don't need them all to be seared. I like to put a little entryway in the middle for my. I like to put a little entryway in the middle for my beef broth. And here is my epic food hack. It's time for an epic. Food Hack! With Daddy! This is I'm using beef granules. I'm just going to pour in plain water. Three cups of it. Now that we got three cups of water, it's one teaspoon per cup. So three teaspoons of beef granules to make the beef broth. Stir it up, gives you one less dish to clean. Okay, it looks like a nice beef broth. Now what we have to do is add in the wonderful flavor, <laughs> the wonderful flavoring of oyster sauce. I'm running a little low, so I might just dump in the whole bottle. But like I said, one tablespoon per table per cup of water. One tablespoon per cup of water. So if you ever see a dish in a Chinese restaurant that is beef with oyster sauce, you'll know what oyster sauce is now. Okay, we got the beef inside, we got the oyster sauce. We're gonna mix up the oyster sauce. Spread it all around. Get that nice brown cutler we're looking for. Now we like a lot of sauce, that's why I'm using three cups. You can reduce the amount of sauce if you like, if you don't like as much sauce. My family loves to put this sauce onto the rice and eat the rice flavored with the sauce. That's why I have so much. Okay, now that we've got the beef and the water, we're gonna let the water get to a boil. And we're gonna put the broccoli back in, just layer it on top. If you like more broccoli, you could cook more broccoli than that. Uh, once it's too nice, I'm going to take it off my hot, hot burner. I'm going to put it in my slower burner. Because now we're going to cover it and simmer it for about 8 minutes. So I'm going to move it to the slower burner. Right there. My slower burner. So now I'm going to move it to my slower cooker. And we're going to cook it like this for about 8 minutes after it's covered. Nice and slow simmer. We're cooking it until the broccoli is nice and tender. It's been simmering for about 10 minutes, so let's go ahead and check on that broccoli. It should be nice and tender. Okay, it's been simmering for about 10 minutes. Let's see if the broccoli is nice and tender. Mmm. Very flavorful. Oh, that's nice and tender. It is done. Let's get it out and serve it up. Well, the seasoning, the seasoning and the flavor from the beef really covers the bad broccoli taste to make it better.
tenderly complements the soft broccoli and the rice very well. Now just give me seaweed. Since you made it this far, go ahead and flavor up that like button just like the oyster sauce flavored up our beef broccoli dish today. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell to notify of all my new videos coming out on Mondays. And just to mess with those so you don't make it this far in the video, go ahead and sneak the word tofu into your comment below. Thanks for watching and have a happy and healthy day.